Hi everyone, here it's Indra and in this video I'm going to show you how to visualize and modify and also save images using Python and more specifically uh, using Matplotlib. Uh, so uh, as you will see uh, in the following part of this video, uh, it's, it is really easy to import an image from uh, saved an already saved file and then uh, by using by, by tuning the different options parameter that we have in specific functions uh, specific map lead functions actually uh, it's possible to change its color to change uh, the dimension of the image and also to uh, crop the image and also in the end to to, to save the, the the modified image so um we can start and just to start on importing the only uh, library that we need, which is maplotlib uh, dot pyplot as built in. Perfect. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, since most of the functions that we will use uh, refers to the to the data file that we want to to start to modify uh, with uh, with with its um, path, I'm going to store the path of my image in this um, variable here called URL. Uh, then the first thing that we can do is to import the image within our script, and to do this, um, we can save it. We can assign it to the variable pick. Uh, which stands for picture and the function that we're going to use is called is a matplotlib function called uh, mread so it reads uh, the image we have to pass as an input parameter the path to the image and then basically the this function reads the image within and, and convert it into an array I can show you how the array looks like by printing it so uh, pick, perfect. Um, what's wrong? Sorry. Oh yeah, I have to specify here uh, in order to to avoid the escape characters. Here, as you can see, this is the array, and each three values correspond to the red, green, and blue uh, values that are defining the colors of the of the image. Um, if we want to uh, actually know the shape, so this is just to, uh, let's say, import the image file. Perfect. So I can comment this now because we don't need it anymore. Uh, if we want to know the size of the image and so how many pixels are in the image, I can just say uh, get image uh, pixels and uh, to do this we can exploit the function I mean it's not a function it's a method that we can apply to the pitch to the variable pick so it's pick dot shape uh, that's it uh, without the parentheses and as you can see these are this is the shape of the picture and so the number of pixels so 2,559 pixel in the height 4,550 pixels in the width and 3 stands for uh, as you saw previously I can just uh, make the print it again 3 stands for the other dimension so each uh, pixel is identified by three values which are the values of the red, green and blue um, colors that um, define the, that, that specific color. Um, perfect. Uh, now that we imported the image within, the, uh, within our script and we know how the image is, uh, how many pixels are in the image, uh, <clears throat> What we can do uh, is uh, we can actually show the image within a matplotlib function, a matplotlib, a matplotlib, matplotlib window. Sorry. <laughs> um, so let's start by display 
the image in a maplotlib window. So uh, as we usually do with like normal plots and so on, uh, we just have to create a figure. So plt dot figure. Sorry, figure. Perfect. An axis. So fig dot subplots. Perfect. And and then if we want to to show to display the image within the just created axis, the thing that we have to do is this one is using this function ax dot m show. And in this way, uh, we can pass as the input parameter the value that the variable in which we store the image. And then we can just simply show the plot. And as you will see, we will have the image plotted here. This is our image within the axis that we just created. Um, as you can see, there are still the axis, but we are going to, to see how to remove them and how to change them later. So this is the original file. Perfect. Uh, now we can see how to change some properties of this image once we, it is present within the matplotlib map map uh, window. Uh, to do that, actually, I want to first assign the, this value to a variable because it will be easier then to, to make some changes to it. Um, and then to change the properties of this image, it's just sufficient to um, add some specific parameters within the imshow function. But first to do that, we have to uh, index uh, which pixels uh, of the figure we want to, of the, of the image, sorry, we want to modify. And in this case, since we want to modify the whole image, we just have to index the whole image, which is, which is, which can be done by using the two the, um, the columns so one for the rows one for the columns and one to identify the step so the first thing that we can change is the transparency of the image so it can be done by alpha let's set it to 0 0.5 and plot the results As you can see, the transparency of the image has changed. Now, another thing that can be done uh, is to, I mean, we may be interested also in, in changing the colors of the image. So for example, changing from um, a colored image to a black and white. And to do that, it is sufficient to instantiate a color map, which is identified by the keyword CMAP. Um, I will choose the gray one, but in the article I also left uh, left you the the link for all the possible uh, color maps that are uh, available within Maplotlib. Um, this is the result. As you can see, the image now is in black and white color, uh, and also with the transparency. Of course, I can remove the transparency or set it equal to one to see. The original this is it this is just black and white perfect another thing related with the colors that we can do is set the minimum and the maximum color uh, range if we want to, to shift a little bit like the contrast and so on so uh, we can do that by set vin v min and v max so let's say that we don't want to apply any change to the minimum color displayed but we want to act on Vmax, let's say we want to 500. I don't really know what's the highest color. Oh, sorry, Vmax. I don't know what what's the highest value for the colors that are present in this image. But as you can see, by shifting to higher values, the the maximum color, the image now is darker. If we want to change it a little bit, so towards more brighter. Um, solutions uh, like 100 the results would be like this 
it's oversaturated because the maximum color is 100. So all the colors uh, that will be higher than 100 will be white. Perfect. Uh, another thing in that is interesting, so I will just set it back to 500, which was quite fine. Another parameter that is fine and it's good to know is aspect. And it basically regulates the pixel shape. There are two options actually, uh, auto and uh, equal. With the options set to auto uh, as a string, sorry. So, uh, as you can see, basically the, the axis adapt to the size of the window. And so the pixel will adapt to the, uh, to the to the size of the axis and in this way the, the pixel size and shape will not be square actually um, if we want the pixel to be square so the the aspect ratio of the pixel to be equal to one we have to set this property uh, to equal and the result is this one here you cannot really tell the difference but later will become really clear so uh, you just have to remember that equal uh, set the size of the, the the aspect ratio of the pixels equal to one, uh, so squared pixels. Uh, auto will adapt the size of the pixel in order to fit perfectly the size of the of the axis. Now another thing that we can do is to uh, add like a color bar if we may want to add it. So it is done since it's like a method. Of the just created figure, we can apply is fig dot color bar, and we have to specify um, the image to which we are, or at least the, the variable that is displayed in the figure to which we want to apply the color bar, which now is f. And as you can see now, we will have the color bar. Now it's mm, it's more clear actually what the the, the meaning of vmin and vmax is uh, alongside the, the the image of that we will see that we were uh, watching before. Okay, perfect. Um, now, as you can see, let me just plot it again one time. Um, we still have the axis displayed along the, the image. In some cases, we may be interested in not having any axe or ticks or labels. We just want to have the image at the center and be displayed with these color changes. So to do that, we have to disable the color bar. And then uh, we can, so let's see, uh, disable axis or let me just first of all uh, another thing uh, let's try to crop the image to crop the image it is sufficient to basically uh, decide uh, the minimum and the maximum value uh, along the x and y axis so this is done in the usual way we will change the value of the x and of the um, extreme values between the x and, and y axis so ax dot set let's see x slim and we want it from 0 to let's say 2500 well we can do the same with the y axis but the y axis it's in this case it's different because if I set this on the y-axis the results will be this one so the image will be exactly would be uh, flipped because in the original file basically if I disable this you can see in the original file that the y-axis has the zero that is starting from the top so when we are defining these limits the zero is here that the, the number zero is here so we're basically saying to the script to to, to flip to rotate the, the image um, so to avoid this we just have to invert the uh, values like this 
perfect. Uh, so now I can show you better the difference between equal and auto. So this is equal, and as you can see, the image has been cropped. Uh, well, if I turn it to auto, maybe it's more visible. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, the image is adapting to the to the size of the figure, and also the pixel are adapting to the size of the axis, and they are no more square, and the image looks a little bit deformed. Okay, we are almost done. Now uh, let's get back to equal. Perfect. To set the axis in order to be not feasible, we just have to specify this other option, AX dot axis and set it equal to off. And as you will see, we will not see any axis or label. Perfect. Now, just to, uh, I mean, once we are done with all the possible modification to the image, we might be interested in saving the image. And this can be done by the function save fig, which is another matplotlib function. So save fig. So the only thing that we have to pass is the uh, path. I mean, the mandatory thing is the path in which we want to save the image. Let's see, we want to save it as new image. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, so in this way, the image that will be saved is this one, but I can show you the results. This is the new image and it has the borders. And if you don't like to have the borders here, we can avoid them by using some option like bbox underscore inches and set it equal to tight. This actually means that uh, the borders will be tighter and will adapt to the to the size of the to the actual size of the image. Let's check again. Uh, this is the new image. As you can see, now they are the minimum size, of course. But then, uh, if we no, sorry, this one I, I was wrong. This is the new one. And as you can see, the borders are tighter to the image. So let me just delete the files. Okay, uh, now that we have specified this property, we can also change the thickness of these uh, borders by tapping, but by writing part inches equal to zero. And this basically set to zero the the thickness of the of the corners so as you will see in this way we have just the image without any border okay um, so I think we're done um, hope you like the video and that you find it interesting and useful in some way uh, see you in another one and thank you